Welcome to After the Hello World. My name is Akshit and in this video, I will show you how to create a flashlight app with timer. Let's start with the design part. First, change the align horizontal property to center and make the title invisible. Now let's add a background image. I will provide the link to the image I have used in the description but you can choose your own background if you want. Then head to the layout section and add a vertical arrangement. Set its width to fill parent and height to 30%. Also set its align horizontal and align vertical property to center. Now add two labels to the vertical arrangement, one that will hold the day and the other will show time. Also add a space between them. Change the font, size and color of the labels and set the space height to 20 pixels. Now add a vertical arrangement that will have the buttons to toggle SOS. Set its width to 20%. Next, we will add buttons inside the vertical arrangement and change its text to indicate SOS time, shape to rectangular. Also change the background color and font color of the button. Now add a floating action button. You can see that it's not visible on the screen but it will be visible when you run the app on your phone. Change material icon name to flash on. This is the name of the icon that Google provides. You can check material design website for various icons available. I will provide the link in the description. Now we need to import an extension that will turn on or off the flashlight. We also need to add a clock that will be used to control the SOS time. Also add some space in between the two vertical arrangements. This block is to display the weekday and the time. This happens on screen initialize that is whenever you open the app. Next we have two variables flash on and SOS that are initialized to false. This indicates that at the moment both SOS and flash are off. Then we have when button one click event inside which I have set the time interval to 3000 milliseconds and set global SOS to true. This means that when I click on button one it will start the SOS with the time set to 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds. The same way it has been done for other buttons. Note that when I click on button 5, the flashlight is turned off and the value of global SOS is set to false. Then on floating action button click event, set global SOS to false, that is it will stop any SOS. Then it checks if the flash on is set to false. 
that is if the flash is not on it turns on the flashlight and also changes the icon to flash off and set global flash on to true if the flashlight is on it turns it off and set the icon to flash on and set global flash on to false Next in the clock timer, we check if the SOS is on or not. If it is on, we check if global status is true or false. If it is true, the flashlight is turned on and if the global status is false, the flashlight is turned off. This will create the SOS effect by turning on and off the flashlight continuously. The app is ready, you can install it on your phone and see how it works. In case the flashlight doesn't work, go to the settings and allow the app to access camera. I hope you liked the video and learned something. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.